Do you have the right to redeem your stablecoin? Spoiler, no, stablecoin issues do not guarantee the legal right to claim fiat currency back. Hi, my name is Alexey Konoshevich, you are on Blockchain State. Stablecoins are often discussed with regard to their stability. It is usually questioned whether a stablecoin is sufficiently backed with money or other assets. Undoubtedly, it's a very important aspect of stablecoin value. But does it make sense if the legal terms of a stablecoin do not give you, a stablecoin holder, the legal right to redeem that digital record on blockchain for fiat currency? Let's us look into the legal terms of two largest stablecoins, USDT by Tether and USDC by Circle. To answer the question, do they owe you anything? Tether's USDT. Article 3 of Tether's Terms of Service explicitly states, Tether reserves the right to delay the redemption or withdrawal of Tether tokens if such delay is necessitated by the illiquidity or unavailability or loss of any reserves held by Tether to back the Tether tokens. And Tether reserves the right to redeem Tether tokens by in-kind redemption of securities and other assets held in the reserves. Tether makes no representations or warranties about whether Tether tokens that may be traded on the site at any point in the future, if at all. Let us unpack this. First, Tether may delay any claim in case of lack of liquidity unavailability or loss of reserves. We reasonably should ask how this can even happen if they claim in the same article that Tether tokens are 100% backed by Tether's reserves. The answer is found down below in the terms. USDT is valued one-to-one -one, but not exclusively backed with fiat currency. As per the terms, composition of the reserves used to back Tether tokens is within the sole control and the sole and absolute discretion of Tether. As the United States Federal Reserve Board concluded in their recent report, they are backed by assets that may lose value or become illiquid during stress, leading to redemption risks and lack of transparency may exacerbate those risks. More interesting appears the part of Tether's terms where they reserve the right to return in kind. It means you buy USDT for the United States dollars, but they can return you a bond, a stock, or other assets held in the reserves. But the most important is that redemption from Tether is possible if you are a verified customer of Tether. And normally, Crypto exchanges and other financial institutions are direct customers of Tether. End users exchange stablecoins with their apps, not with Tether. And hence, must check with legal terms that such providers cast. Nevertheless, according to Tether's FAQ, individuals can also open an account with Tether after accomplishing a KYC check. Circle USDC. Circle has much in common with their twice as big rival, though surprisingly their terms are even more discouraging. They similarly don't promise to hold equivalent fiat reserves. They back up their stablecoin with an equivalent amount of US dollar denominated assets, Article 1 states. Promising Article 2 of their terms states that Circle commits to redeem one USDC for one USD. The bad news is that this rule applies only to Circle partners, crypto exchanges, financial institutions, etc., which they call users type A. And users, Circle calls them users type B, become customers of these partners, say when you open an account with a crypto exchange. And there is no way for an individual to become Circle's direct user and exercise the right to redemption. In Article 13, they clarify that Circle does not guarantee that the value of one USDC will always equal one USD because 
Circle cannot control how a third party's worth and value USDC. This means Circle does not mandate their partners to cast any specific terms to their end users, which gives such stablecoin providers freedom in what they legally promise to their customers. Circle states that they are not responsible for any losses or other issues that may result from fluctuations in the value of USDC. Conclusion Both Tether's USDT and Circle's USDC are not legally equal to a fiat money. More so, their reserves, which they claim to ensure one-to-one -one value, are not fully backed through fiat. They back their digital tokens with various assets, for example securities, which can eventually decrease in value and create trouble with stablecoin liquidity. The main question was whether an individual holding the stablecoin could convert it to fiat. The short answer is that there is no such right that the customer can exercise through legal means, such as claiming it in court. In the case of Tether, they let an individual become their direct customer to redeem USDT, but they leave the right to return not fiat, but any asset in their reserves. In the case of Circle, they legally promise redemption, but do not admit individuals to exercise this right, which leaves the customer one-to-one -one with multiple exchanges which do not necessarily guarantee this right. You can read this article on Cointelegraph where I publish my opinions and findings. See the link in the description. Thank you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you don't want to miss new videos. See you in the next video.